Alright, hello all my twin flames out there. Welcome back to Masculine Monday and welcome to my channel Indigo Moonlight Tarot. If you are new um, and you resonate with this message, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe um, and hit the notification bell. It's very important as I have many um, new videos coming out throughout the week. Um, so we're going to continue on with the series that we had going on last week, Masculine Mondays, Wild Card Wednesdays, and Fantasy Fridays, since you guys liked it so much. Um, and so today, we're just going to go over the masculine energy with um, some feminine energy as well. Um, and I'm just going to do a spread today, no shuffling, to make it nice, fluid, and um, let the spiritual energy pick um, the cards um, as they usually do. So um, if you guys, like I said, resonate with the message, um, you can see about winning a free uh, reading from me for this month um, for September um, all you have to do is like share and subscribe and you'll be entered in automatically so I'm just going to push up a little bit and then we'll go with the spread and we'll see what's going on with your masculines and then we'll get messages from your masculine to you the feminine um, so I thank you guys so much for being a part of my channel. Thank you so much for all those who have come in and gotten your free readings and who have donated and who have paid for the readings. Um, I would be nothing without you guys here. So thank you so, so much. And um, I hope that you enjoy the message today. Um, and for any details, just see below in the description in the box. Okay. So just going to do the spread. What is going on with the... Masculine spirit, just pick, and I'll get it better to where you guys can see things soon. We can see the whole spread. Okay, so Ace of Pentacles. So the masculines are um, seeing a new door here. New doors are opening for them. Um, this has holds air power, creation power. Um, so things are changing for them and a new window door has been opened for them that was not open before. Um, so a lot of energy for the masculines. They're coming in, they're broadening their horizon, seeing things, um, with new eyes, I feel like, um, getting a higher perspective of things. Um, so that's real important for them. And look at this, the Ace of Swords. So Ace is today. 1-1. One, one. Um, so Ace of Swords, um, again, creation power, uh, manifestations, um, holding really, really strong. So a lot of strength for the masculines with this Ace of Swords. Um, they're holding it really um, firmly. So they are firm about this decision. They are firm about where they are heading, where they want to go, where they want to be. Um, and so they're headed towards a new direction here. Your masculines are on a journey. Maybe they've turned a corner or turned a page um, and they found another route to take. Yeah, we have three of cups. So celebration, um, community celebration or just celebration in general. I see pumpkins here. It just reminds me of fall and autumn. So it's possible something is going on. Um, something is occurring coming up in the fall time um some a celebration of some kind whether it's somebody's birthday or whether it's a surprise um but it's going to make you very very happy so they are going to do something a page will be turned a door will be open that leads to you and it's going to be kind of like a surprise and it's going to cause like this um time of celebration and happiness and um and I feel like I'm getting these fall vibes, these autumn vibes off of this card. Seven of Pentacles. So your masculine is um, hard at work and they're looking at all the things that they've accumulated. We get this card a lot for the masculines. Um, they're kind of nostalgically looking down at all the things that they've collected in their life, all the things that they've done. Um, and they have one pentacle here down at the bottom. Um, and they're looking at all of these different collections of things that they've had. Um, but I feel like here it's telling me like something is missing. Um, you still have this piece down here that's not a part of the rest of the group. So to me that is showing me that the masculine is really missing you. They're really, there's, you are a part that's missing in their life. 
especially for those um, in separation. Yeah, and look at this, the Hierophant. So tradition, social contracts, um, tradition being broken down, contracts being broken down. Um, so things could be signed off, papers could be getting signed off. Um, mar this is marriage, vows, um, structures being kind of torn down as the realization of all these illusions come um, to light for the masculines because they're gaining this whole new perspective here and they feel very strongly about that they're holding that power in their hands and they really really want to head towards you they it's going to be a cause for a celebration as they're looking at all the things that they have but they don't have you in this cluster group of the things that they have they don't have you you are what's missing and for some of them they have to break social contracts they have to break tradition they have to break out of um the constructs of society, um, avoiding um, societies, I guess, like their judgment. So they don't want to be judged, so they have to be really careful about this. Um, let's try to get some verification on that, or maybe a step further. What's going on, Divine Masculine to the Feminine? Or what is and I see that there is um, this uh, ten of swords or sorry not ten of swords um, nine of swords at the bottom of the, the, the deck here so lying awake at night making it really hard to sleep um, thinking a lot about you missing you feeling the pain feeling the grief feeling the longing the cravings of separation um, really feeling that energy, really feeling, um, and also what's going on in their uh, 3D world, in their world with their karmic or with whoever they're um, around, friends, family, um, partnership, marriage, and it's keeping them awake at night, thinking about these things, thinking about how they're going to move out of this, thinking about how they're going to open that door, which means closing off um, that tradition. Yeah, so they have a lot of fighting going on, a lot of stress here, a lot of things that are going on um, with the masculine. They're a little beat up here, but they're still holding a wand in their hand. They're still hold, they're strengthened. They are still coming out of it okay. They're still coming out of it um, with some power left, with some strength, and they have to heal and build that up. Um, but this is really good. Two of cups. Um, so your masculine is thinking about union, divine union here. Um, and you guys are being guided together. Um, so you guys will be in union for this group of you, for this collective. Um, this is, you know, a really good card to get especially with everything going on because it means that they're working on coming to you it means they're working on healing themselves and you guys are going to come together here you with your own vows with your own promises with your own um marriage which is basically just another way of saying union union is is a marriage between your souls um without the contract <laughs> without without the written words and things like that it's all in your spirit so this is coming up for you guys it's very special very important so be prepared for this the emperor so here is your masculine this very masculine card they are, like i said they're still strong they're still um fighting they're still working they're still healing um your masculine is thinking a lot about you um you are very heavy on their minds, heavy in their energy. Um, the Emperor is coming for you and for this union. Lovers. So, and masculine, okay, masculine lovers and union. So, we have divine union. We have love. The divine is presiding over both. So, there's guidance here, protection. Um, and the universe will bring you guys together in wholeness. 
So in the masculine is working on this. They're a big part of it, just as you are. Um, so things are coming together. Things are aligning for the two of you. Doors are opening. Um, the masculines are being strengthened. They're healing. They're leaving the past behind. Um, and we have this lovers here, this romance. Um, they are ready to dive in. They're ready to give you their heart. They're ready to accept this journey and start moving towards it uh, with you. Knight of Cups. Yep. Yeah. The, um, the hoof is balanced up like this. So they're coming forward. They are moving forward. There is motion and action and they're coming to offer their heart. They're coming to offer a message for you of love to let you know that they are on their way. So masculines are coming in and they're coming in quickly. So that's, um, and union, uh, union and lovers card that's really hard to get in one um, piece and one section here when, with the decks. Um, but that did come out, that has come out. So um, I am seeing physical union. I'm seeing for the first time some of you are going to come together physically um, for the first time. Um, and you'll know that this is coming. You'll feel that this is coming. It's on its way. Bottom of the deck, we have Sodade, missing pieces. This is you. They are missing you. Um, words that were not spoken between the two of you. So you're a big, big part of their life that is missing, that they want. Okay. Let's get our flaming roses. Love messages. Lover's oracle. Ooh, well, one decided to pop out on their own. Music memories. Oops. Okay. So let's get this together. So we have optimism, okay? So the light is shining through. Um, your masculine is coming through. They are coming in for you, for the feminine. Um, light is shining down on them favorably. So um, things are gonna work out in the right time when they are meant to. And it is something that they're being optimistic about and being open about. Um, and they're calling on you to as well be optimistic, to keep the hope, keep the faith, um, and patience. So we have passion. So they're feeling very passionate towards you. Um, a lot of desire. They want to do all of these things with you. We have strawberries and chocolate and flowers and um, union. So you can see union in there as well. Um, yeah, so they definitely have passion and desire for you and they're ready to come forward. They're ready to move forward with this. So interference, okay? So someone on their end is trying to stop them. Someone is trying to block them from this. They might have found out their plans or found out that they are working towards um, breaking the tradition, breaking the vows, things like that. Um, and they don't want to hear that. They don't want that to happen. So there's going to be someone trying to, they're causing a ripple effect, okay, and it's going to affect them. Um, but your masculines, we've seen that they can be really strong. So I feel like they're going to be strong in overcoming this, that there's going to be success. Um, but they just have to, they're going to have to fight this for a little bit to come out of it. Euphoria, okay, euphoria. So when you think about euphoria, when you think about this, it's kind of like an elevated 
emotional response. Um, it's something that, you know, you feel when you're kundalini rising, things like that, all your chakras being hit at once. So this is telling me that, um, again, this is an indication of union, euphoria. Um, this passion and everything is going to just explode and it's going to be a euphoric um, event that happens for the both of you and that's what they feel towards you. There's like this excitement, this euphoria and passion that they feel towards you um, and ultimately coming together. So here we have reciprocity, twin flame. So um, they do, uh, they are going to be receptive of you now, whereas before they were blocking you, whereas before um, you weren't hearing much from them, a lot of contact, well, there's going to be, they're going to start being receptive with this reciprocity. Um, and your feelings are returned, okay? So the love that you give them, they're going to give it back to you. All the things that you have been working on, they're working on as well. And you guys will come together and meet in the middle, okay? With that interference, we have grief and sadness. So I was telling you how sad that they're feeling, how grief-stricken they're feeling, possibly due to the separation, missing you, missing those pieces. But also something is going to happen where um, they have to be really careful with this other person. Um, they have to be really careful with this other person, and they... Um, they're going to go through a period of healing and some grief and sadness um, that you might feel. So you might feel sad at times, you might feel lonely, depressed, and it's because all of this is happening. That's kind of a sign you'll get that when indication when all of this begins. <sighs> Sorry. <laughs> so um, like we had before, music memories. Um, so nostalgia, thinking a lot about you, that's also where some of the sadness is um, going to come from, as they are really thinking about you. Um, offer. So we had the Knight of Cups, and now we have Offer. They're going to offer their love, their heart. They're going to make it clear that they are ready to give, that they are ready to give, and they are ready to unite and um, you'll receive these signs and synchronicities you'll receive um, maybe even communication from them indicating how um, that things are happening soon maybe even through dreams telepathically growth and creation so they are growing creation manifestation so uh, growing their dreams growing their desires and that turns into reality that turns into a manifestation of their dreams of their desires and to me passion euphoria reciprocity they are headed your way the knight of cups love messages okay yeah offer love messages communication so this is coming in guys and the universe is saying to be prepared um get prepared get yourself prepared act like it's already been done it's it's gonna happen and that will be your reality as well it's the same thing that they're doing um, but yes they are writing things down they are uh, some of them are probably typing things up and then deleting them or writing up a note or something throwing it away however it is that they communicate email text message and um, they're working on it they're really really working on it they're growing they're creating um, but they're looking to send you a love message. Breakthrough. Yeah, there's going to be a breakthrough. And like I said, they're going to get through this phase. They're going to get through this grief, sadness. They're going to heal. They're going to break tradition. They're going to break um, that pattern, that cycle with the karmic and with their energy. Lights are coming on here. Illusions being broken down. Um, breakthrough, okay? That light bulb is turning on and they're starting to really understand what's going on now. Yep, and they're going to detach. So they're detaching from the past, detaching from the old patterns and cycles, just like I said, so that they can move on, so that they can move forward. Feminine, feeling lost, okay? So 
for you feminine um, the lights will come on for you as well you will realize when they when you start to receive all of these feelings when you start to receive this energy from them um, you will things will clear up for you because you are kind of confused and getting mixed messages and things like this um, feeling like separation will never end um, but things are going to clear up all that fogginess um, it will clear up for you as well that's really really good let's get some more twin flame messages and then we'll move on to some um, to your divine masculine messages to you it is Monday so things are a little slow and I don't know why this popped up it was weird Mm, yeah, that was really weird. Something on my email, I had notifications taken off and somehow my email jumped in front of the screen and it said Twin Flame Synchronicity. wish I could show that on the video. I have all these, I don't know why. Let's go back in. Mix that up. Okay. And on Wednesday also, I'm going to um, show you, it'll be Wild Card Wednesday, so I want to show you guys um, all of the cards. And so you'll see, um, I won't be on the camera that day, I will be showing it down on the cards, that way you can see um, all the cards, since it is called, you know, Wanderlust Wednesday, Wild Card Wednesday, I want to be sure that you can, that you see all of them. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so unlocked. So, um, yeah, this is in regards to that door. So that door is being unlocked. They have the key to unlock the door and they are going to walk through it. Um, and this is happening within divine timing, but it's also, I feel like, happening. I just get this feeling that it's happening quicker this time around. Um, so they have learned how to unlock that door. Um, they have they have the key here to open it up and to go through to come to union to come to their feminine to come to open up their dreams and desires so weep again sadness nostalgia they're really thinking about you um, they're missing you they're feeling this loneliness without you this missing peace and it's kind of like it's causing a, a weeping feeling so present moment you're going to live in the present moment, let things be, um, let things happen as, as they're supposed to, as they're meant to. Um, they want to uh, live their life, they want to take their life to the fullest, especially in this present moment. So we have contemplation. So they're thinking a lot about these things, they're planning these things, they're strategizing. They are moving forward, there's a breakthrough. So they are thinking a lot about these things, contemplating these ideas, desires, their dreams. Um, and like I said, you will see signs. So you'll be receiving a lot of signs, messages from their higher self, tele uh, telepathy um, between you and your twin, um, dreams, things in the 5D, as well as we saw that they're going to send some love messages. Um, so be on the lookout for those signs when all these things are going to begin but they already haven't so tragedy okay so tower moment is going to occur so your masculine will go through a time of pain and we already saw this grief and sadness um, and they're going to go through their whole world that they knew coming down on them and changing and they'll but they'll be strong they'll come out stronger and they will succeed and they will walk through that new door that opens up because of this so this tragedy is necessary the separation is necessary for them to come forward healed and look at this divine union so physical divine union we have union again so it's very strong energy this group um, 
it's safe to say <laughs> that um, things are looking up. Things are really starting to look um, bright for you guys. So we have confusion and careless. So a lot of things going on with your masculine. They are having a hard time at this moment accepting that they are going to be getting out of this um, tradition that they've been in for so long that the social contracts are going to be broken down and things like that. Um, so they are kind of contemplating a lot. There is some confusion going on with them, but we see a breakthrough coming out of this. Um, I think that it'll clear up as soon as this tower moment kind of hits. Um, and then they'll be carefree. They're just going to throw it up in the wind and say, just let the universe take it, let it be on its way, and let me move on, let me move forward. So I like how that came, I like how that comes together. Um, so divine union for this collective. And we're also going to get how they see you, how they feel about you as well, so stay tuned for that. Um, let's kind of see anything going on energetically for the masculines. Energetically, we'll get some twin flame oracle. Oh, it's kind of hard to go from this side. I don't have a very big table, so it makes this ooh, makes it really kind of challenging. Hope you guys are doing really well today. Um, Hope that things are looking up for you, feminine, and any cross watchers. Okay. So out of our oracle, we have building blocks. So they're building their, they're going to be building their life again. They're going to be healing, creating a sturdy, steady foundation so that when you guys come together, it's not going to be chaos. It's not going to be a mess. They'll be able to um, support you. They'll have a good foundation um, between the two of you thinker, contemplation. So they're going to be in their heads a lot. They're going to be thinking a lot. They're going to be doing their best to get out of this. Chop wood. So they're going to be cleaning mess, okay? Chopping wood. Um, they're going to be deleting, however you want to say it, throwing away all the things that no longer serve them, um, leaving the past behind, moving on, moving forward. Time to go. Time to let go. Time to go. So there's that door way over there. There's going to be some things going on that happens before they can walk through that door. But it begins with them letting go. It begins with them starting to walk away, which they are doing. That's good. Okay, here we have spying. So for some of your masculines, they might be kind of keeping an eye on you. Um, trying to see what's going on in your life as well healing so they're healed they're gonna be healing just like i said there there's going to be a time when they need some space more space <laughs> than they already have but also space from that person that they're leaving behind um and they're going to heal breaking free okay they are breaking free. They're walking away. They broke the chains. They found the key to the door to unlock it, to walk through. They're breaking out of this. Anger. Not flipping you guys off, <laughs> but anger. They're feeling some anger. They have to get through that. They need to let that go, release that. Um, they are, I guess, getting angry as well so that they can leave and walk away from this situation. Kundalini rising, we just talked about this. We talked about the Kundalini activation. So all of the chakras are going to be activated here and it's really going to help them to come forward to you. So they are raising their vibrations when they're doing this, um, letting things go, releasing it, and they're manifesting. So they're manifesting um, this situation and they're leaving. So they're creating their world, they're manifesting this union as well as you are 
um, and it's helping them to release things. It's helping them to let to let go. So letting go of the past. They're letting these things go. Breaking free. Breaking free and letting go. And then we saw in our other deck that they were walking away. An angel. So they are being guided here. You guys are being guided by the angels. They're being seen, um, shown signs. They're being shown how to how to get out of this situation without completely ruining their lives. <laughs> For some of them, they might have to, you know, go through those things, um, and then they go from there. So let's get some untold truth. For your masculines, what do they have in their hearts to say to you in the 5D? Um, what are they thinking about? That kind of, those kind of things. There's something in here. A lot of energy in this one. And there's one more. Okay. Okay, so let's see what we got. Running, ghosting, disappearing, invisible. So, like I said, they're going to um, need some time. They're going to take out some time to heal. Um, and they might be the runner, okay, where you're not hearing much from them. Um, but we saw reciprocity, so they're going to start giving back all the energy that you were giving. They're going to... That cycle will should cut out when they start healing everything yep no words silence stillness frozen running frozen so they're working on themselves and you're not hearing a lot from them right now and this is why and things are pretty frozen between the two of you but they are working on themselves you are working on yourself um intensity sexual energy so they're feeling this lust for you wow so we have running and then we have the chase relentless pursuit victory preparation so <laughs> they're coming about that's so funny because this is what i was feeling i was feeling like the energy is is quickening i was feeling like they're moving faster now and the chase is coming in through them, preparation. So be prepared, um, a pursuit that they're not giving up. They're not going to give in. And then victory. So they're going to, they're going to catch you. That's quite, it's quite amazing. Elusive. So this person in the past has been really elusive, um, intangible. Okay. But now they're going to start pursuing you they're going to start coming forward and this frozenness the ice will begin to break as they are taking those steps and closing the doors um and unlocking that door so when once they were intangible and elusive they're going to become more attainable for you family triumph and security so this could be some things that they're worried about or even that this person you're thinking of is established. They have a family. They are married. They do have to break these traditions to get out of this situation, which is why they've been elusive, which is why things have been still. Um, they are established, but this is, look at this, upheaval. Shock. The unexpected trouble. So it's going. they're going to break free, and what once was established will be up. It, upheaval things will break apart um things will go be kind of crazy for them for a while and that's when nourishment comes in soul growth comfort self-harmony um this is 5d union so they're going to come into union with themselves and then you will find that that you'll feel that energy that kundalini rising as well and you'll know that they're working on coming towards you. Past life, karmic lessons, repeated patterns. So I was talking about how they don't want to be in these repeated cycles anymore, how they don't want to um, be a part of that. They want to break free, which is what they're working on doing. So they are repeating a lot of cycles and they're trying to get out of that. Two beginnings here. So 
new direction, fresh start, and chance. So a new chance here, second chance, um, new beginnings, a new direction, and a fresh start. After all of this that occurs, um, things will piece themselves back together again, and there will be a um, harmony within your masculine and within you, and then that's when it'll be time for you guys to come back together. Um, so let's go ahead and get some counterpart messages, some messages from your masculine for Masculine Monday. And then the Masculine Madness from Bridget Rao. Hey, and this one's already, oh no, I thought it was flipped over, but well, we'll take that. Okay. Okay, and then inner vibes for how your masculine is feeling towards you. Inner vibes. So counterpart messages first, I am sorry, I lied to you. So whether they were lying about their feelings, um, they weren't upfront about to you, they didn't um, tell you the truth about what was going on, whatever, you know, however they felt, they are very sincerely sorry for that. So solar plexus, solar plexus chakra, a lack of confidence, ego, self-centered. So they need to regain their confidence here. Um, they they need to get rid of their ego. This is something that they are working on, something spiritually that they are coming through. I can't stop looking at your pictures and rereading the messages you have sent me. So we had spying, and then um, we had uh, weep, and basically nostalgia, missing you, things like that, missing a piece of you. So they can't stop looking at your pictures. They can't stop reading your messages that you guys have had back and forth to one another. I want to be the only one who gets to see your naked body and soul. So they want to be the only person in your life. They want to have it to be just you and them. Um, they want you to be the. They want to be the only one that gets to have your love, to see your soul, to. Um, to have that intense, uh, unique connection. So they don't want to be in this other connection either with this other person. They just want you. So family issues. They're dealing with family issues that's affecting this connection. They're dealing with karmic toxicity, whatever that might mean for them. It's part of what's interfering in the connection. They need to get rid of that. I feel like the universe is punishing me for how I treated you, karma. Hashtag karma. So, yes, they feel like they're being punished um, for lying to you, for how they treated you. Um, and we had in our readings from last week that the mask it said punish on one of the cards that they felt like they were being punished for what they did. So they really do mean it when they say that they're sorry. Um, and they are feeling this karma. They are feeling this come around to them, back around. And they feel like they're being punished because of this and so it's triggering them to work these things out I'm worried about my legacy and status so i said earlier that they might be concerned about what people are saying what society might say because i'm feeling for many of them they are in another relationship they're married maybe another religion um, another country whatever that might be so they are worried about that legacy I miss your warmth. They get this cold shoulder. So some of you might have detached. You might have removed yourself from their energy, removed yourself from that so that you can work on yourself, so that you can just um, pay attention to you and heal as well. But they miss your warmth. 
Your light is guiding me home, beautiful, radiant. You are their guide. They feel like you're very, very special and unique, and you are guiding them home. You are the light that's keeping them strong, motivated, keeping them going. They're like, this is what I'm going to have. This is what I desire to have, and so I'm going to get through this. I'm going to open those doors. So they're under some pressure, sinking into the depths of sadness. Sadness again, um, grief pain they're under a lot of pressure and it's been like this for weeks now you are so tempting temptress so you're very i guess they think of you as kind of like a seductress temptress um you really you know you turn them on they feel your energy we saw on fantasy friday how much they are thinking about you and how much they are tempted to just they want to be with you so bad right now I'm fighting so hard to become a better man, determined. So I was just saying this, they are fighting, they are being strengthened, they are working on coming to you. Okay, so let's get the vibes. The relationship is over. So that karmic relationship is ending. I dream about you often. They have a lot, yeah, and I was talking about how they're dreaming about you, how they're thinking about you, how they're, you know, they're rereading your messages, they're um, missing you a lot, and, and going through your pictures, things like that. They dream about you often, so they still think a lot about you. Yeah, I'm not ready to love you the way you deserve to be loved, and we had that they're becoming a better man, or sorry, they're becoming a better, was it? Yeah, well, it does say man, but they don't have to be a man, obviously. Um, that person has abs, but um, they are becoming a better person, um, okay, because I don't believe in having that the energy matches the gender. Um, it could be male, female. Um, but they're coming in. They're trying to be a better person, okay? They are not quite ready yet. They're building the blocks. They're building up to come. They don't want, you know, to bring in um, all that energy from the past, Tough times are stopping this connection. So, and we saw that. We already know this. They are working on it. Tower moment, upheaval, stuff, shit's hitting the fan for them. Um, but that the relationship is is over. You're a reflection of me. So mirroring one another, you guys are um, going through some of the same things. Um, your feelings are reciprocated. Um, what you feel, they're feeling. I feel powerful when I'm with you. So they do. They feel very powerful. They, you're very unique. Um, you have a lot of, you are the light guiding them home. Um, you're very important to them. Do what makes you happy. So I've heard this before. And I know that that is what the masculines really want. They want you, no matter what happens, to be happy. Whether it's with or without them. And that's unconditional. Love yourself unconditionally. So they're working on loving themselves unconditionally. Um, you're working on loving yourself unconditionally. Do what makes you happy. They are doing what makes them happy, which is getting out of this relationship, becoming a better person, becoming more deserving of your love. Right? Oops, over here. Okay, so let's get how um, they see you, how they view you, what they think about you, what they like about you, whether you're confident, whether it's your legs, your body. Let's check that out. What are the masculines thinking about their feminines right now? How are they feeling about them? What do they love about them in this collective? And there are many of you in this collective, so a lot of this might resonate and some of it might not. But maybe one for each group of you. <laughs> That's why I always choose plenty of this. I don't know why it did that. Oh, sorry guys, my computer is acting really funky. It's messing with me today. Okay. Let's see what they like about you. Pleasant disposition. 
So maybe they like your how calm you are. They like your disposition. They like um, how you interact with others, how you um, respond. So they like that's very pleasant. You might be someone who's very kind and, and open with others. Skin. For some of you, they like your skin. So your masculines love to see your skin tone. They love to see how soft you are or they dream about touching your skin a lot, things like that. Balanced and grounded, yeah, you are their light. You help to keep them balanced. You help to keep them in their place and they, you, they when they're around you, they feel powerful and this is why for many of you, you keep them balanced and grounded and they feel more stable in that way. Breast, so for some of you, they like your body, they like your chest area, your skin, okay? But not only that, also spiritually and mentally as well in your personality, not just your body. Romantic, so they feel like you're very romantic and maybe they are not that romantic and so you fill that space for them um, and so they like that you're romantic. Out of the ordinary, unique, you're special. You're not like anybody else that they know. They like your style. For many of you, you might be very fashionable. Um, you like to be dressed up a lot of times, you know, um, do your hair really nice, um, makeup, things like that, make your skin look good. So they like your style. For many of you, they like that you're fun. So fun, you know, that they're not, it's not just a boring, it's never a boring conversation. You're out of the ordinary, you know. It's always something different every time. And they love that you're down to earth too, so grounded. They feel grounded and stable with you. Down to earth. You're very friendly and warm and open and you don't try too hard to be liked. You're just you, the feminine. For some of you, they like another body part, your butt. <laughs> so some masculines like your butt, your skin, um, your disposition with people. It's very pleasant and friendly. Um, you balance them and ground them. You're unique and fun, um, but also down to earth and not too, com you know, not too complicated or, or whatever it is that they don't, you know, generally like. Um, so really quickly, I'm going to get so a couple of cards here for the masculine and feminine. See what's going on energetically. This is a very large deck. So I'm just going to pick out masculine, masculine, and then feminine, and feminine. And I feel like one more for the feminine. This is kind of what you're doing, healing. So we got planning here at the bottom. So I really like that. Masculines are definitely planning some things. So masculine, housing, and change. So um, this is security, safety, and comfort. There's a little house in the background here. They're a little bit of a recluse. So they feel safe. They have a safety net at home. And it's comfortable and secure. And so that's going to be something they really work really hard to get out of. But they're also building blocks. They're trying to be stable and have a solid foundation for you. And here we have a wheels, a ten of wheels, and we have change. So things are changing with them. Things are, they're working these things out and it's being changed. Everything that that maybe you didn't like about them, they're, they're changing a lot of these things to be better for you. <laughs> feminine has communication. So someone's going to communicate with you, feminine, your masculine is going to communicate with you. You want communication. You want this communication. And um, so I'm seeing that it could be telepathic communication um, as well because bees don't really they don't speak, but they communicate with their bodies. And I feel like this is what you're going to receive from your masculine. Um, so there are some things you need to release, some energy you need to release to work on. So whatever it is that you're working on, whatever it is that um, is kind of holding you back from everything, just release that, give it up to the universe. 
the stranger in character. So you're working on building your character, maybe figuring out who you are. Maybe you're um, different under the surface than you are on the surface. So um, work on building that character, work on being who you are, release that energy, and um, know that you really want communication with them. And so you're going to receive that. So one more guidance for the feminine. Oh, right here. Usually do this in the beginning, but um, today I'm doing it at the end. Whispers, so signs, okay, telepathic communication between you and your masculine. Look out for those signs, those synchronicities. Listen with your inside ear, with your spirit ear. Listen to your dreams. Alignment. Things are aligning. I said this in the very beginning, and the way that it closes off like this is awesome. Um, so alignment. Get into alignment. Things are changing with your masculine. They're working on changing. You are working on changing, on being a better version of yourself. We all are. Um, but everything is coming into alignment. This heart being strengthened, guided, being guided. Inward revolution, okay? So working on transforming yourself from the inside out, and that's what the masculine is doing, and that is what you're doing as well. And that's really, really good because things are aligning for the higher purpose. Um, things are aligning for this union, and we had union many, many times in the decks, and I feel like that is coming very soon for you guys. So that is all I have for you. Thank you so, so much for being here. Um, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Check out the description box for how you can win a free reading. Um, I look forward to seeing you guys again on Wednesday. Um, excuse me. So I might put out some polls on there, some photos, things like that. Check out the community board. Got a lot of cool stuff going on there. Um, you know, send me some messages on there. Let me know how things are going. Um, how you're liking the videos, things like that, because you guys are a great big part of all of this. Um, I think I still have some deals going on with Etsy on my shop, um, so get in there and order some readings um, before prices, they tend to go up in the winter time, um, and I want to make sure I get you guys the best deal that's out there, um, so check that out as well on my shop. Um, thank you again so much for being here, and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Light to you guys all.